Hey, what's up guys? Frank here with another video and today I wanted to make a video on how to get out of the lower tiers for Amazon Merch On Demand, okay? So in this video I'm gonna give you six tips, okay, on how to get out of the lower tiers for Amazon Merch, okay? And speaking for myself, currently my account is in the tier 8000 and uh, those are my stats okay i've done basically over 20k in us dollars and so that's basically only in the us market so i've done probably a little more if you check also in the other markets so again i'm probably not the the, the most professional or the most experienced to give you give you, to give you tips but maybe my journey can also help you in your journey and uh, that's pretty, pretty much a goal of this video, okay? And so if your goal is to start on Amazon Merch, okay, when you're starting, if you're a beginner, your goal should simply be to level up the tiers in Amazon Merch, okay? Your goal is simply to level up your tiers in Amazon Merch. Don't try to make money yet because the money is really later on that you can make money, okay? You can make money by you know, upholding a lot of designs because when you're starting, the amount of design that you can uphold is really limited, okay? So when you're starting, it's not really worth it to try to make that much money. It's really later on that you want to make money. So when you're starting, your goal, okay, is not to make money. is It is to simply to make sales. You want to make sales to level up your tiers in Amazon Merch. Okay, so that's that's pretty much my tips that I'm going to show you today that worked for me and also a few more tips that uh, can also work for you. Okay, so first of all, tip number one, uh, tip number one is simply to take the time to learn uh, uh, how Amazon Merch works. Okay, because it's really worth it to learn that. Okay, it's really worth it to learn how Merch by Amazon works because it's, it's probably the best website that you can be on to sell your print-on-demand designs, okay? And when I first started, I made the mistake to, like, put my energy in other stores, okay? But actually, Amazon Merch is simply the best, uh, the best website, the best store, the best print-on-demand website that you can upload on, okay? I mean, yes, Redbubble is great. Yes, Etsy is great. Yes. Yes, uh, Tee Public is great, and yes, Spreadshirt is great, but actually, the best website that you can upload on is Amazon Merch, okay? So take the time to learn how Amazon Merch works, because, <laughs> again, it's really worth it. So why it's worth it, you might ask. It's simply because when you upload on Amazon Merch, your listings are on Amazon, and Amazon is all over the world, it's well-known, and... Uh, you know it has a ton of and a ton of customers and so and so again it's also uh you you don't have to do anything you simply upload there's no fee you get money you get your money every month uh you don't have to deal with the shipping you don't have to deal with any fee you don't have to deal with the processing of the of the merch and so like if you're looking for a stream of passive income if you're doing it right, Amazon Merch is probably the best place to do that. So it's really it's really worth it to put your time into it and to learn how it works, okay? And oftentimes, Amazon Merch is also different from the other print-on-demand websites. So it's quite different from the other platforms. So there's like the tiers how it works is kind of a kind of a similar to the to a video game in a way because you know, when you level up tiers, it's a level up. So, you, you know, you just level up things. You, you level up your account. It's basically kind of a video game. So it's it's a, it's a worth it to learn how, like, learn how Amazon Merch works, okay? It's worth it. And so that's tip number one. And tip number two is simply to focus on your best trending design, okay? And this is basically two things in this tip, okay? You want to... You want to, when you're starting, okay, you want to upload your best designs and you want to upload your, the trending designs, okay? Oh, there's, a, there's, there's a clear mistake here. It's trending design. You want to upload trending design, okay? 
So for example, for trending designs, currently, okay, it's the holiday season, the Christmas season. So don't try to sell Halloween designs. Don't try to sell Easter designs, okay? If, you, if it's Christmas season, try to sell Christmas design, okay? Like don't waste time trying to sell other things you know if it's christmas try to sell christmas design if it's halloween try to sell halloween designs if it's easter try to sell easter designs if it's like that's the idea you want to sell trending designs okay and uh, it makes sense because you the idea is to make sales and you want you don't want to wait Let's say, for example, that right now it's it's Christmas season. You you don't want to upload Halloween designs because if you upload Halloween designs, like you you'll have to wait like an entire year. You have to, you'll have to wait like the next year just to to make the few sales. So when you're starting Amazon merch, okay, the idea is to make sales as soon as possible. Like the goal is only to make sales. You you don't want to. You don't want to upload just for fun. You want to make sell. You want to upload to make sales. Okay, so that's that's the only goal that you want to have. And so the other part of this tip is that you want to upload your best design. Okay, so let's say for example you have twenty designs. Currently, let's say that you have twenty designs. Okay, and you're in the tier ten, so you can upload only. You can only upload ten designs. So what I would do is that I would I would only upload the best design, the, the best 10 design that you have. So for example, you have 20 design, just upload the best 10 designs, okay? Upload your best design because that means that uh, you have a higher chance of making sales. Like the goal is only to make sales and the other designs that are, are currently like not on Amazon Merch yet, well, you, you'll be able to upload, it, upload them later on if, when you reach a higher tier okay so for now like it in the lower tiers try to sell the best design possible so that you can make sales the goal again <laughs> i'm repeating it but it's only to make sales okay and if you're not a designer you can always hire a designer okay if you need be a better design because you even when I started, even when I started, uh, I didn't know about designing. I didn't know about Canva. So when I started my print-on-demand journey, I basically, I, I basically had a designer. Okay, I was working a full-time income. I had a full-time income with a, a full-time job, and so basically the extra money that I had, I would basically hire a designer. Okay, so maybe that's something that you can do. So uh, my designer, for example, it was a designer I think from India that I was paying for, uh, through uh, Upwork. I was, uh, I, I was hiring uh, a designer from Upwork and I was basically said, buying my design for around maybe six or seven dollars in US. So that's something that you can do if you're not a designer or you don't feel confident about it. You can always hire a designer. And uh, again, you want to sell the best trending design. You want to put all your cards in your in your advantage. So, so find the best trending designs. Okay. So that's tip number two. Tip number three is simply to rotate the designs that are not selling. Okay. So since you're in the lower tier, you want to make as you want to make sales as much as possible. Okay. So one tip that you can do one little trick that you can do is that for example like you have 20 designs okay and you can only upload 10 designs at a time because you're in the tier 10 okay but you can rotate your design so that every design gets a chance of making sales so let's say for example okay some of your designs are not making sales well you can try rot deleting it and instead uploading a new one so that maybe the new one can make some sales okay so maybe like something like every day if you have a lot of time maybe every every week you can rotate your design like this just to make sure that you have all the chance in your favor to make some sales okay so so yeah so 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 if a design is making a sale i would actually keep this design uploaded okay so if one of your design is actually making sales 
don't delete it, okay? Don't delete a design a listing that is actually making sales because if one of your design starts to make some sales, that means that it has a higher ranking. Every time that it's making a sales, it gets ranked a little bit higher on Amazon, okay? So every time that your design is making sales, it has a higher chance of making more sales. So if your design is making sales, don't delete it. But the design that are not selling, okay, you should try to rotate them, okay? So just delete it and instead upload a new one so that maybe the new one can, can make some sales, okay? So that's a little trick that you can do. And uh, I've actually done it when I started and it works great. It works great. You can do this and uh, it's a great way to maximize your chance of making sales. So that's tip number three, rotate your designs that are not selling. And then tip number, number four, and it's pretty obvious, it's to set the lowest price possible, okay? So you want to set the lowest price possible because that means that the customer has a higher chance of uh, buying the product, okay? And since the listing, the, your new listing and your new, new uphold the, probably doesn't have that much of a ranking and that much of a ranking or in the Amazon merch or, or simply the rating, is the ranking and the rating, well, you want to put all your cards in your advantage. So you want to set the lowest price possible so that the customer the customers that are actually seeing your your listings has a higher chance of buying it, okay? And so again, the goal in, when you're starting your print-on-demand journey on Amazon Merch, your goal is not to make money. It's not to make money yet. You will make money in the future, okay? But for now, your goal is simply to make sales. You want to make sales, you want to sell merch, and so for that, I would recommend to set the lowest price possible so that if a customer sees your listing, well, the customer will have a higher chance of buying it if the price is very low, okay? So set the minimum price possible on your merch. So that's tip, that's tip number four, okay? And then tip number five, I've, I haven't done it, okay? I haven't really done it, but it's simply to... Uh, boy, buy your own merch, okay? So maybe it could be you, maybe it could be your friends, maybe it could be your family, okay? Like, you could buy your own list and you could buy your own merch. And uh, again, this tip, I think it works very good with uh, tip number four. You know, you just set the lowest price possible and then you just buy your own merch, okay? So that's something that you can do. And I think it's actually a great tip if you actually need some t-shirt or you actually need some merch or maybe your family needs some t-shirt maybe some of your friend needs t-shirt and you know you can basically like uh, design your own uh, design your own uh, merch you design your own design and you buy your own merch it's, I think it's pretty cool I think it's a pretty good idea you know you're you're, you're looking for a design or t-shirt in, in the particular you just design it yourself or you hire a designer to, to design the thing that you want and you just simply buy it for yourself or your family or, you, or your friends. I think it's a very good idea. And uh, I haven't personally done it because I'm, I'm, I live in Canada and currently uh, Amazon Merge doesn't have a Canadian market. But I think it's a great uh, it's a great opportunity if you're actually living uh, in the right market. So, for example, on Amazon Merch, there's a there's seven markets. So there's the U.S. market, the U.K. market, the Germany market, the France market, the Italy market, the Spain market, and then Japan market. So again, I've never done it because I live in Canada and like it, it didn't make that much sense for me to buy my own merch since there's no Canadian market but if you're if you live in a place where you can buy your own merch in the right market I think it's a great way to to simply like buy your own buy you buy some merch and also increases your that also increases your sell. I think I think I think it's a great idea and currently the minimum price for 
the t-shirt on Amazon March is $13.07 in USD. I mean, it's a reasonable price, very reasonable price for a t-shirt. And if you design your own t-shirt, so you can like have the, the right t-shirt that you want for, for yourself. I think, I, think it's a really, I think it's a really cool thing to do. So that's something that you can do, okay? Again, I've never done it, but I would probably have done it if uh, it was easier for me. And then the last tip that I have for you, and again, I've never, I've, I've not really done it, is to use social media and and or to use ads. Okay, so let's say for example, uh, you have a following, certain following on Facebook or, may, or maybe Instagram or another social platform. You could use the audience that you have on these platform so that you can sell you, your merch to them. So that your audience buy your merch. So that's something that you could do. And also, if you don't have that, you can also use ads uh, to make some sales. Okay. So maybe one of your strategy could be like uh, you 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 want to get out of the lower tier as soon as possible. So one of the things that you can do is uh, you know you just put some ads you don't care about spending money and you just put some ads just to get you out of the lower tiers okay that's something that you could do that is very reasonable uh, I've I've never really done it because I don't like social media a lot and I don't enjoy marketing as much I don't I don't I don't I don't do ads that much and I'm I don't I, I, I don't like it. I dislike it. But that's something that you could do. And if you're comfortable with marketing and you're comfortable with ads, that's something that you can do. And I'll, I know that on Amazon Merch there is a section for advertise. Okay, I've never really looked into it. But if you're if you feel confident about it, you you could look into it and see how that works. And of course, if you're going to pay for ads. It's definitely definitely uh, riskier because uh, you actually have to spend money for to to hopefully get more money. But again, in the beginning, the goal is is really to make sales. Okay, you're not trying to make money in the beginning. You're only trying to make sales. But if you really want to do it, you could spend money to make th these sales. Okay, and. Um, and yeah, I think I, I've done it in the, a little bit in the beginning. I think I've done a few pins on Pinterest, but it wasn't that, that worth it. I think I've had a few visits, maybe a few views like this, but it wasn't really worth it. But, uh, you know, you could, you could use Amazon Advertise. You could also maybe do some Facebook ads, maybe some Instagram ads or whatever you feel comfortable with so that's basically something that you could do and uh, again it's a little bit riskier if I would if I would to be doing ads okay I would probably be doing ads on listing that already had a few sales already okay because uh, you know like if you're going to put ads you want to put ads on something that already has some kind of uh, proof in a way okay you want to have a listing that already had a few sales so that you know that it has more chance to make more sales okay so you want to put ads on on uh, on already uh, working listings on already working listings you don't want to put maybe you you don't want to put ads on a completely new listings because you don't know if it's going to work or not yet okay so I've I've never really done it but it's definitely something that you could do and you can also use social media if you have Facebook or Instagram and so that's basically what it is okay so those are my six tips on how to get out of the lower tier for Amazon March and I hope that you found this video helpful and uh, let me know if you have any question okay peace